In this video, I will show you how you can enhance your email copywriting using AI and automation. So what is this email copywriting? So writing a compelling content that is specifically tailored for email marketing campaigns with the aim of engaging and ultimately encouraging your recipients to take action is considered as email copywriting. Now, what are the benefits of using AI and automation? So firstly, you will be able to generate the content automatically. Basically, you can now now write the emails automatically without doing anything manually which will definitely reduce the human errors and this AI will be available for you 24 7 if you will ask the same task from your team member they will be available only for six to seven hours but AI will be available for you 24 7 and this is also a cost-effective solution because now you do not have to hire a dedicated team for writing the email for email copy writing AI will write everything for you that is why it is also a cost-effective solution and you can also scale your email marketing campaigns how I'll show you everything so let's take a quick look let's take a quick example of this email copywriting that is possible with AI and automation so you can create a form and can circulate in your team members and whenever the topic is submitted via Google Forms the content for the email will be generated automatically using this application well this is the chat GPT application further you can also scale this email writing process how simply add the list of email topics in your spreadsheet in bulk and again the content will be generated in bulk using this chat GPT application okay in this video I will even show you the process that how you can write an email from Google Sheets using AI and automation so simply add your email topic in the spreadsheet and then connect to this spreadsheet with this chat GPT application and it is going to generate the email content automatically and the same email content will be added even in the Google Docs application. Now what are the tools I am going to use for this automatic email writing? For AI I will use chat GPT and for this automation I will use this Pabli Connect software. Want to learn how? You can also do that. Come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So I have already prepared a spreadsheet in which I have also added one email topic and now I am going to connect this spreadsheet with this AI software that is this chat GPT and in order to connect these two I will use another automation software that is Pabli Connect which is again an amazing integration and automation software using which I am going to connect these two applications and going to automate my task okay. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in here. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I have directly pasted the name as write an email from Google Sheets using AI and automation now it will ask you to select the folder so I'm selecting this main workflow folder now clicking on create and after that you will find two workflows boxes so these boxes are called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case I want that the topic should be picked up automatically in this Google Sheets application and further the same topic should be passed automatically on this chat GPT application and the content should be generated automatically so I have selected the same application as an action application further I want that the same email should be drafted automatically in Google Docs application so I have clicked on that plus icon and adding one more action step that is Google Docs okay basically in this action step I am adding this Google Docs application okay so in this way by clicking on this plus icon you can add as many as action steps as you want and connect multiple applications and automate lot of complex business process okay and now the idea here is I'm going to connect these three applications one by one so let's connect this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect and capture this topic okay so simply select the trigger even that is new or updated spreadsheet row and you will receive a webhook URL along with a few set of instructions so with the help of this URL only we are going to build this connection so simply copy this webhook URL and kindly follow these instructions carefully 
carefully go back to your spreadsheet click on extension click on add-ons click on get add-ons and here search for the public connect web books add-on first all right so i'm searching for the same that is family connect web books are down and you will notice that this add-on is already installed in my account because i have already created several automations okay for now i'll close it but make sure when you create this automation firstly you install this add-on because after that you will have to open the same add-on from here this is my add-on clicking on this initial setup and here exactly we will be pasting the same url which we have got via family connect so coming back let me copy the same once again and let me paste the same okay asking for the trigger columns read the instructions the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to specify a column name on filling of which this automation should trigger so how about i add the trigger column as b because i want that as soon as i add the data in my row my data will surely go up to b column and on filling of b column i want this automation to trigger so i have added the same but if i click on the send button it will say that no data found in row 2 okay so i will have to write something okay so how about i write this yes here okay now coming back back basically clicking on this button once again let me open the same let me also copy this webhook url and paste to the same here all right so i have pasted the same adding this column as b clicking on the send test button and you will notice that the same spreadsheet data will be received here as a response okay fingers crossed waiting for that and here you can notice the response is received let me show you the details one by one here we have the same column that is want to write the content yes here we also have the trigger column here we also have the topic the spreadsheet name and lot of other details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between spreadsheet and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen whenever someone will add a new topic of email in this spreadsheet the topic of email will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start it start in real time i'm sorry for that okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done but before i move further let me tell you a very important thing whenever you are connecting your spreadsheet with public connect make sure either you work in the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab okay i'm repeating this thing once again either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab and the second important thing is if you want this automation to work in real time automatically you will have to enable one more very important setting that is this send on event if i will click this option you will notice a tick mark will be added this will in sure that every time a new topic or a data or any kind of data is added in this b column that data will be sent to public connect automatically okay so these were two important things now moving further i'll show you how we can pass the same topic on this chat gpt application and how we can create the content create the email automatically okay so clicking on this connect button then clicking on add a new connection for the connection it is asking for the tokens so if you are already logged in in your chat gpt account directly click on this hyperlink and it will redirect you to this authentication page so let me first log in here and this is the page okay from this button you can create a new secret key which you can paste here okay but i have already created several key so i am going to reuse those existing key okay basically i have saved those keys somewhere else or i can also go with the existing connection clicking on save and in this this way my chat gpt account will be immediately connected with public connect now it is simply asking to select the model that using which model you are going to generate the content so i'll go with this G gpt 3.5 turbo and finally it is asking for the prompt what is this prompt basically you will have to provide the instruction like this draft an email for taking a leave tomorrow okay whatever you want this chat gpt to run to work you will have to pass the instruction here okay so currently i would like to generate the content okay so write an email on this topic and after this topic basically after this dash i want this topic should appear automatically so that is why instead of manually copying the above topic 
from this Google Sheets response and pasting below again and again, I'm going to map this topic, which will replace this topic automatically as soon as a new data is arrived from our spreadsheet. As soon as a new data will arrive from our spreadsheet. Okay, so how mapping can be performed? It is very simple. Open that, click on this field and you will find the above step data here in the drop down. Map it. Yes, select it. And in this way, it will be mapped. And further, I am going to provide some more instructions write an email topic write an email on this topic that is 20 percent discount on all shoes on black friday deals and the email should not exceed the 150 word limit yes i do not want a lengthy email so i have specified the same thing okay also provide email with a proper formatting okay so this is the instruction the prompt i am providing clicking on this button save and send this request waiting for the response to be generated and in this response i am expecting the email content to be prepared okay fingers crossed so here you can notice the response is received let me show you the content and in this choices zero message content you can find the email you can find the content okay dear valued customer we hope this email finds you well we are thrilled to announce our exciting black friday deal a jaw dropping 20 percent discount on all shoes across our store yes you read it right every single pair of shoes will be available at a discounted price for this limited time offer okay so did you notice how chat gpt has created a nice content nice email automatically in few seconds few minutes okay so in this way the second step of our automation is also done and in this way you can also start doing this email copywriting with the help of automation and af now instead of selecting this google docs application directly how about i select a google drive application yes so in order to draft the content in google docs i will have to search for google drive application yes i'm not directly searching for google docs but searching for the google drive in the action event i will be selecting create a document okay so let me search for the same create a file in a specific folder yes it's a good idea to add a content in a specific folder okay if you're connecting your google drive for the first time go with the new connection click on this button and provide basically choose the account in which you are going to create a folder you are going to create a file okay clicking on this allow button and in this way my google drive will be immediately connected with public connect and now firstly it will ask you to select the folder okay so i have added i have actually a lot of folders available so how about i firstly open my google drive and whatever the folders are showing in this drop down the same folders you can find here also give me a second all right you can notice this email attachment email newsletter okay so how about i go with the same that is this email newsletter now it is asking for the file name so again instead of adding the file name manually i will be adding this file name from this spreadsheet data and let me tell you whatever the details i'm providing here manually or i'm selecting from this drop down will remain same but whatever the details i'm mapping here will be changed automatically when our automation will work in real time or in next time okay so this is the difference in providing the data manually and via mapping and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation clicking on this button save and sentence request and waiting for the document to be created let me open the same folder and here we have the same document that is 20 percent discount on all shoes okay and this is completely a blank document so finally i'm going to insert the content in this document for that clicking on this plus icon once again and searching for the google docs once again okay so i have searched for the same well instead of selecting google docs i will have to search for the google drive once again okay why i'll show you basically i have the action event the, the specific action event here in the google drive only okay so this time i want to add the content so give me a second i'll show you what action event we will be selecting here 
all right so here we have that action even that is update the content in our file so yes i want to perform the same clicking on connect but this time instead of going with the new connection i'll go with the existing connection clicking on save and in this way it is connected once again and here it is asking to choose the file so if i will select it manually from the drop down what will happen every time the content will be added in this file only so for that i will have to enable this mapping button and now i am going to map the id from here so that it will be replaced automatically remember i have already explained you the difference in mapping and in providing the data manually okay and remember we have generated the content using this chat gpt you will have to map this particular thing that is choices zero message content okay so i have added the same clicking on this button save and send this request waiting for the response to receive let me come back and here you can notice the same email has been drafted automatically so in this way with the help of this automation software pably connect and with the help of this chat gpt application with this ai you can automate your email copywriting process you just need to create this automation workflow inside pably connect once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually even after creating this workflow you can simply close pably connect and sit back so what exactly we have done firstly we have added the topic of email in spreadsheet and this then with the help of this ai software we have generated the content automatically further we have created a file and in that file we have uploaded we have updated the content automatically okay i hope you have understood everything and just in case if you want to access this four step automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach the link of my automation workflow into the description box so click on this link sign up for free into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video